Hello people and welcome. I am Massimiliano Cori. I'm a fashion photographer and uh, today I'm here to explain you one very important tutorial, the skin retouching professional. I have seen a lot of tutorials about skin retouching. They are very professional. A lot of them they are done by gods of Photoshop. But the problem is that Photoshop is a tool. And the problem is that to, be, to use Photoshop in the correct way, you need to be an artist. Our goal in skin retouching is always to show the texture of the skin, to show the model uh, skin with the, with, the, with the small details, not to blur everything, to make everything look fake. So today I want to, I want to put the point to the importance to have the uh, already one person that have a good skin and have the, a good makeup. Uh, clients, especially in the fashion, spend a thousand of dollars to have a good makeup artists and good model with good skin. In the, and if Photoshop was able to do everything by himself, probably they could spend less, but it's not like that. So let's proceed and see how to do it. Okay guys, the, here we are. We have this photo to retouch that uh, actually is one of the worst because this model has really a good skin. And, uh, but I want to choose this because so we can see some difference because uh, all, all the time, it, all, otherwise it's uh, not very easy for you to see. We are going to be very fast because I don't want to bother you. So what we want to do? Let's, uh, let's make an empty layer here, just clicking here close to the trash can. And we are going to uh, use the healing brush here, healing brush tool that is a little bit different from the spot healing brush tool here because this is you have to point a, a surface close to the to the place that we want to retouch. Make sure that all layers here is selected because uh, this will uh, only like this you can work on the empty layer. So we are going to point where we want uh, to adjust this and we are going to make some uh, cleaning that is uh, absolutely normal. We are going to use uh, for, uh, for this picture in particular uh, the, this uh, healing brush and uh, the clone stamp. We can use it uh, of course in two different layers, name it, but formal I'm substantial uh, and I don't care because this this photo will be done uh, in a very easy way I will do everything in this okay I will I will do it on, in a new layer no problem um, the opacity of the clone uh, would be 34 35 but uh, is around this you don't have to be uh, fixed uh, on, uh, on this solution. You can change around and uh, using your taste discover. Never listen what others say to you. <coughs> we are going to fix under her eyes like this to soften a little but we are not going to erase what uh, what is a part of her skin because we still want to that uh, she would be a human not uh, a robot a doll a fake doll i don't know <coughs> like this is already is almost already good we are going to fix something here i'm going to i'm going to do this uh, this photo real quick because uh, for timing, you know, and uh, sometimes uh, it gets so long, but the procedure is this. You don't uh, really need uh, to see every single detail and spend half an hour about uh, this procedure. That is, as I repeat, boring. Okay, now let's flatten uh, for me is enough okay, like this. Uh, we can uh, go to layer, flatten image, and already check some difference between before, it was like this, and after, it is already like this. 
much softer. But the heart of this tutorial will be now where we do a copy of the background, you can simply drag it down uh, to the second folder or just uh, use the shortcut, uh, shortcut uh, command J and then to use the lasso tool around the face not precise because we, want, we do this only to save RAM of computer uh, if you don't have enough power on it and so we apply filter <coughs> Blur, motion blur. This is what we need to do. The distance will be, will be around 30 pixel, 32, 25, doesn't matter. And we apply an angle minus 62 degree. And we, co we, do, we, we repeat this procedure around uh, five or six times. I will do it uh, six. <coughs> so, and change the angle, okay? That doesn't have to be accurate, doesn't really matter. Important is you, is you, de, you divide uh, 360 de degree more or less with uh, six time, green six time. Uh, blur, motion blur, again here. Filter blur, motion blur, here. Filter blur, motion blur. I can do also 5, but I will do it 6. Okay. Okay. Of course, like this is scary, it's not usable. But you, what you have to do is to mask, click on the mask layer, and invert with common eye so we don't apply the effect to all the photo. To, to, we don't apply at all the effect, not to all the photo. What we want to do now is uh, uh, use a white color and a brush with around 13% of opacity and we start to paint her face. This is all we have to do. is uh, blurring her, uh, her skin and make soften in a way that it results compact. Okay, don't do the, don't, don't do this um, close to the uh, close to the mouth so the eyes because we don't we want that sharp what we want to what we want to adjust is the skin okay um, and you do it until you see for you it work fine for me work fine this way okay you can see from distance how good how smooth it is. Of course, if you more you you see it big, some something you will see always in the skin. We are going to see the before and after now. Before and after, and of course, everything can be more accurate with time. But uh, what is what really matters is the procedure that is very, very efficient and very very simple. I hope you liked this video and uh, thank you for watching it uh, and uh, subscribe. Thank you very much.